All right, we're back again. Do we have sound? Can you hear us out there? It looks like we should have sound. We're supposed to have sound. Looks Hello. Like it's on, yeah. uh, <laughs> looks like it's working. People are screaming out of sheer anticipation. It's always a good sign. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna check myself. I'm anxious. Let's see. At least, at least your chat's all over it. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Is it working? Are we working? Are we live? Oh, we got one more saying sound. Sound? Still nothing, huh? Says it's picking it up. Hmm. Oh, nice. We got a weekend here. Oh, we got it. Okay, sick. I think we're on. All right, you well, guys. Welcome back. Hello, welcome, welcome. Um, hey, Hope, will you, will you do me a favor? All right, can you go to uh, Mixer, the little uh, thing, the little screw next to Mixer, all the way to the right, the little gear, all the way at the top, above that, Mixer, keep going, Mixer, keep going, up. I'm scrolling up, there's no Mixer. No, you got to go up, yeah, right down, there it is. And then uh, we're going to do uh, alert box, and then just do monitor off. Yeah. So you don't hear that twice. Okay, great. And then just X out of that. All right. Nice. You guys, we're Thanks, here. Hope. Sorry for the delay. What's up? Um, I'm Matt McAndrew. Joining me is the host of our show. I'm Eric Riddell. And uh, we are going to eat some wings. Uh, these are special vegan wings that we got for the challenge. Uh, no animals were harmed during the filming of this video, except for us, of course. And, um, yeah, we're, we're excited to get into it. Uh, I, I already said this, but we had some technical difficulties. So I love the show Hot Ones. My mom loves right. the show Hot Ones. We watch it together during quarantine. My mom was sick with COVID, and she would just watch this show in bed, in her chair, whatever she was doing. Shout out to you, Mom, if you're watching this. Uh, I hope one day I can go on Hot Ones with my mom. Wild card, who knows? I can bring along <laughs> a little, yeah, a little, little You know buddy. she would love it. Yeah, 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 for sure. So anyways, shout out to you, Mom, if you're watching. And... Uh, we, she actually sent me this sauce and this sauce for uh, Christmas, and we like those. Yeah, they were great. Uh, no, no harm done. Yeah, you yeah. Know? This one, this one is like you know, I think uh, on the higher end of like sure, sure, spicy and enjoyable. If so, you're going in with the chip, you're not doing the full grab. Exactly. You know, you're exactly. like just just a little on the tip, and you're good. Exactly. So Th this we're we're pretty hungry we're excited about this and then this sure. is not good so anyways <laughs> thank you hedonist thank you hot ones for uh inspiring us and being great shout out to sean the best host of anything ever for sure and uh we're, we're gonna jump into it you guys uh submitted some questions we're i think we're gonna start with just a little bonus question and then we're gonna get into the wings that's right um uh... You ready to kick this off? Yeah, dude. How, how are you feeling, though? Nervous. I'm, I'm freaking nervous. Yeah, especially now that it's, like, happening for real. Yeah. I don't know, man. Spicy stuff's fun, though. Okay. <clears throat> uh, first question. It's from uh, Hopeful Murray. Uh-huh. You know, you know who that is? It doesn't, it doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, no. There's some fan, I guess. Uh-huh. Um, they would <laughs> like to know, how old are you in Hobbit years? How old am I in Hobbit years? Great question, Hope. Uh... Well, I guess uh, I guess I'd be a little older than I am. I'd probably be about. How do you calculate Hobbit years? So a Hobbit reaches adulthood at thirty-three, and I feel like at this point I I'm, can appreciate that. Um, yeah, it was gonna be <laughs> nice, right? Um, so we should all be so lucky. Yeah. Um, I'm probably like forty-five in Hobbit years, maybe forty-one and a half. 41 and a half. 41 and a half. Exact answer. All right. That's that's fair. First wing. You ready for this? First let's, wing. First let's get in, official man. Official question. I'm hungry. So starting down here in the uh, in the kiddie pool. Yeah. We have the uh, the Hot Ones Classic Hot Sauce. Go ahead and shake it up for the viewers. That's right. We're going to do this proper. Damn. And we, the, these these sauces, we just, uh, these uh, vegan wings, we got plain. So we're just about to uh, just kind of dab them all. That's right. And see what happens. Well, uh, we'll start it out. Start it out here. Number one. Uh, Richard's asking what kind of milk. Oof. We've got a, a we've we've there got an go. oat beverage. Thank you, sir. And we've got a uh, almond milk. Yeah, dairy dairy free in here. Dude, 
Which I think the whole point is to have dairy to help with the spice. So uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> jo- jokes on us, I guess. Dude. Oh man. Sauce. I can tell already. I'm about to get messy. Yeah, for sure. Sleeve, it's about to get crazy. Are going up. Do you do you cheers away? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Cheers, bro. Especially right. on this first one. Here we Number go. Number one. Pretty good. It's kind of spicy. <laughs> yeah, better not be. <laughs> no, number one. Ooh. Yeah, man. It's good, though. I like it, though, man. I'm ready, ready for dinner. Yeah, I'm like... I'm only going to take, like, one bite just to be safe. Right, right. I'm, I'm like, like I'm down to eat all the first one right off the bat, but I feel like that's not the, uh, that's not the proper way to get into it. This is, like, I feel like a little... Uh, a little Hollywood insight. I feel like these these wings like were hot at one point, and we've been running around trying to get this set up, and they are not hot anymore. By the time you actually get to it, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And I and, I, and I've heard wings. <laughs> I've heard something similar about the actual show that they're 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 not super warm. Maybe. All right. Cool. Well, we'll get to our first question then. Submitted in by at the Rock Artist. Question is: Would you ever do a collaboration with Teddy Swims? Oh, and we, and we I, we we got to we got to time this where we got to be like question and then eating. So right. I can be freaking out while I'm trying to answer it. That's fair. We just got our first one out the way. I you thought want, I thought the other the one was the first one. That was a bonus question. No, I but got, so I got 10 here. the one that we just oh that's right. Yep. Okay, we did the wrong order. Yeah. I'm already go- the spice has gone in my brain. Um, <laughs> Off the first one. Okay. Uh, no. w- would I ever do a collab with te- with uh, Teddy Teddy Swims? Yeah. yeah. He's got a great voice. He seems like a cool dude. He's got his own vibe. Yes. Easy question. Happily nice. answered. Nice. Do you have any uh, favorite covers that uh, Teddy Swims done? He did, um, I think he did a really sick one of uh, The Weeknd that I saw. Okay. But, yeah. Nice. You know? Cool. Hell yeah, dude. Let's lo- load up our next one, man. All right, let's freaking do it. After, Mo- moving, after down you, the line, moving down the line quickly. What do we got here? The J Jaguar? Is that what that is? Oh, nice. Oof. It looks, it looks good. Already the, the labels are looking hot. Yeah. We'll see here. Woo wee! This one's kind of thick too. So, I think I'm getting in my head a little bit too because uh, this garlicky one is not Oof. hot at all, and I feel like I, it was tasting a little spicy to me when I just ate it. And I I, I eat it all. The, I gotta I say, I took I took one bite of it and I'm like, oh, that's that's spicy. And it's yeah, it's real, it's just the setting I think. Oh, it's these it's these bright lights. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bite in. We'll get in a question too. For sure. All right, question two, uh, from Djeron Mars. What is your favorite place in Germany, mm-hmm. and what do you associate that place with? Hmm. Favorite place in Germany, probably um, Cologne, Germany. Um, so when I was in high school, we uh, we had like a German exchange student program that um, me and my sister were part of, and went and stayed with. My friends Yana and Anna that we met through that, and um, I hadn't seen them for like ten years. That was like my senior year of high school. Nice. And then when we played over in Germany, they came to the show in Cologne, and we got to hang out a little bit, which was which was really cool. That's it. What what are these little quasi? <laughs> I'm like I'm sorry guys. I'm like spitting it out because I'm like, am I supposed to eat this? I don't know, man. It's probably not terrible for you, but where are my matters? Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. I feel like the second one was uh, less spicy than the first. It was good. It's got, it almost like it feels like it'd be good on like uh, Indian food or something, maybe. Great, great flavor though. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Like that. For sure, for sure. Oh man, I see why they load them up usually beforehand. Yeah, exactly right. Pre, be a, pre be a, adapt, a little quicker, but, but you know. Well, roll, roll into number three. I would hate to get the order wrong or something. Oh, true. Yeah. For, first wing you grabs the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the hottest one. Exactly. That'd be like, that would be real easy to do. That, like, that was it. Like, yeah, unless you grab one in the middle, which you wouldn't. You'd be oh, screwed. man. All right, a little Chipotle and habanero. We're getting some, some hot sauce here. I got to remember. I already, like, want to touch my eyes. At, which, honestly, you wouldn't be too bad right at now. This, at this point, you'd be fine. Oh, this one comes with a little. Oh! That's how little you know it's fresh. Safety seal. That's how you know. All right, guys. We got 60 people uh, in Ooh. here right now, which is crazy. A little thicker. On By the, far the most we've ever had there. tuned in. Thank you, sir. Damn. Oh, no kidding, man. That's awesome. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's really good. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody who donated and subscribed and... Submitted a question. Um, you guys are awesome. So couldn't have done it without you. 
Here we go. That's it. Ready? I'll ask the question before I uh, take a bite here. Okay. Smart. All right. We got Sarge Wallop. Question number three. What is a childhood memory that you were both ashamed and proud of? Hmm. Um, ashamed and proud of. Hmm. I was, uh, I was a bedwetter as a child until about the age of nine. I just could not hold the damn, uh, the damn bladder. And I think that's, as that's a, a little, little past average, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, I don't know. I just like, I'm a sound sleeper and it was no bueno. And so there were, there were, there were no slumber parties to be had for me. <laughs> um, and I, and I guess that, yeah, that would have been really embarrassing at the time. And, and now I, I don't know that I'm proud of it, but it's, it's funny. Yeah, I mean, now looking back on it, you seem pretty, pretty confident. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm gonna... the fact you can laugh about it now, I feel like you are somewhat proud that crying on the inside. <laughs> uh, yeah. So going off of that, was there ever a time you know, bed, though... bed wetters in the house? What up? <laughs> Shout out to the bed wetters. Yeah, so I be, was I don't there know. ever a slumber party you had to skip on because you're like, I want to come hang out, but like, I'm not pissed on this guy's floor. All of them. Yeah, I just never went to any of them. Yeah. But I also probably would have been too scared to stay the night because I'm a real scaredy cat. <laughs> so oh, man. Would have been scared of them ghosts. When, they're, when, they're did, when did you finally uh, break the break the curse? What was your first sleepover? You remember? I went to <laughs> I went to Disney World with uh, my family and uh, like a family friend who had like who brought their kid that was about my age. He's a little older than me. And I remember being really nervous thinking like, damn, I'm going to have to wear, like, the pull-ups for this and be all covert and, like, be wet in the bed and try... And, and just magically, my body just, like, like saved myself from that good. embarrassment. Yeah. Just did one of the dizzy trip, very high stakes for me, and it just sure. did not happen. Sure. So, and you had to risk it all. Yeah, and just ever, ever since then, I've been good. <laughs> I don't know. Love it, man. Cool. Thoughts so far? That we're one was three, good. Three in. The, I think that's my favorite so far. We're, we're definitely going to be going back and eating these like in regular life. Yeah. For, like, Absolutely. That, that, that one's actually tasty. Like I'm really we're, enjoying it. We're set up here in the house on hot sauce for a little while. For e yeah, bro. <laughs> Damn. Cool. All right. Rolling into position number four. Yeah. Nearing the uh, the middle of the group. Yeah. 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 We, we've come up to five. Is that right? Yes. So that's the furthest that we've our mouths have experienced <clears throat> but already number four is called hotter than l interesting and it's, and it's got the grim reaper on it dude we got a couple labels with the old grim on there so it's gonna be interesting. i'm not sure why that's in the number four slot it's uh you know <laughs> hopefully the grim reaper is like not always cracked up to be man oh man i'm pretty sure he's only got one job <laughs> <laughs> yeah murder uh... straight murdering people I kind of wish it had like the little little nipple on the end because mm -hmm. I'm scared I'm just gonna like come pouring out a little bit. Well, on we this. know we know this one can't be as bad as uh, the five spot, right? So this looks looks good though, man. I'm like en enjoying this for sure. We're gonna have I'm to ready. get it. Gonna eat this with some with some warm wings later. Yeah, this one's ooh, this one's a little chunky, boy. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got a good bit on. I'm there. feeling pretty confident though until we hit past five. Sure, sure. All right. All right, question number four from Brenda McAndrew. As someone who worked as a host for The Voice, you were interviewing contestants. So do you think interviewing other people makes you better at now being interviewed? Um, yes. I think uh, <clears throat> it certainly gives you sympathy for uh, the, uh, the, the host of whatever. I, I remember I... Um, I was I was hosting uh, Outside Lands in San Francisco for this digital concert streaming company, and uh, we we were trying to get bands to sign up for the interview, and just yeah. like nobody was saying yes to it. Huh. And uh, we 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 did do an interview with um, homie from Third Eye Blind that went kind of okay, and that's the first time I ever really had to inter like outside of interviewing voice contestants, had to interview somebody I guess, and um, I think it went all right. Um, but it was cool that he agreed to do it. And so that was kind of my takeaway. I just remember thinking like, damn, if I'm in this position playing a festival and some, what, what like, I, I haven't heard of maybe whatever they are, I'll just be like, yeah, I'll, I'll do your interview. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. So, yeah. 
is it's definitely a, a talent that I think gets overlooked, right? The proper hosting, the person doing the interview. I mean, they, they carry the, the whole thing. Shout out to Sean from Hot Ones. Dude, Again. Shout, shout out to he Sean. Is, he's the best. He yeah. is the best. Man. If you guys haven't seen the show, somehow the host eats, goes through the whole ringer every single time. Yeah. He, and he goes all the way to the number 10 spot. He does great research. Barely breaks a sweat. Yeah, he's just yeah. like super on it. I love when some of his... You know, guests try to try to give him shit, and he just handles himself so well. He's not like scared of confrontation or anything. He's also a real sweet guy. Sure, he's, just, he's great. Sure. As you can see, I went back for more. I so saw it's that. Still pretty that was... pretty enjoyable at this point. I'm like pr proud of myself. All right. I already kind of feel a sweat coming on. I don't know. I, I think it's just I think it's the lighting in here. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm getting mad respect for uh, for Sean right now. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fill his shoes. Dude, ever. you do it. You do it. You do it great, man. We're only, it. we're only four in. You're killing it, bro. Oh man. All right, let's let's hit this halfway mark, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's see how we're doing. Los Calientes. Here we go. Made by uh, made by Hot Ones, one of their own own hot Damn, sauces. Damn, son, the official sauce. I think that's cool that they uh, that they make a lot of their own stuff. It's great. It's awesome. They're all they're all switching it up too, right? They'll introduce new ones. Oh yeah, yeah. So th this this was uh, when we thank you, sir. When we oh. set this challenge up, this was uh, season twelve was the one that was available to buy. So oh, okay, just grabbed it. But nice. You know, I'm I'm looking forward to. I think is actually the next sauce, which is like a barbecue one. And I know you and I both really love barbecue. It's just sweet, sweet and spicy. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Let's check it out. Right, number check. number five. All right, question from Jess is amazing. Mm -hmm. Pick three of your favorite tattoos mm -hmm. and explain the meaning or story behind each of them. Okay, so starting with number one, probably the easiest, is this uh, little check mark tattoo that I have here. That's going to be upside. It's hard to show people. There you go. Um, <laughs> so this square was the first tattoo I ever got um, with, with the intention of if I got signed to a record label, I'd get a check mark in it. That was like my life's goal when I was uh, in high school. And... Um, did the voice got a record label through the show and then my coach adam drew in the check mark with the sharpie and then i went and got a tattoo or whatever nice um uh so that one's probably got the, the most meaning um other than that you know uh i got this really dope tattoo from thomas hooper he's like one of my all-time favorite artists and uh he, he's he's always kind of booked up so uh that that was just really cool i was you know, sent him an email and like four months later I heard back from him. I kind of Sweet. almost yeah. thought it wasn't going to happen. So that was, that was really cool. Um, I really like this hand tattoo I just got on my stomach from Zach Scheinbaum. Shout out to Zach. He's uh, another one of my favorite artists and he's great. and just always does really awesome work. Cool. Oh yeah. So, uh, so a lot of times it's an artist you're looking up to. That's that, it. That you're like, I would love to have a piece of their work. Period. Yep. That's and, it. And you get it, get in the slot. Cause if you have a, if you have a great artist, it's like, it doesn't. It almost doesn't matter what the subject matter is. They're just gonna make it look cool sure. like in their style. Sure. And people that really know tattoos could see a tattoo that you got and they're like, oh, that's a tattoo by. I was in um, Hawaii, and uh, I recognized um, this dude had like a a black work like tower tattoo, and I was like, oh, is that Thieves of Tower? And he's like, oh yeah, you know what I mean. Nice. And it's like all hype that you know what I mean. But totally, yeah, for someone so, to recognize it. Yeah, so that's it's sick. it's that kind of vibe, yeah. No, yeah. no doubt. I think a lot of people can get this idea that like a tattoo just has to have so much meaning and purpose for it to yeah to to be a tattoo, but like it's not always the case, right? Yeah, I think um for me it's like the desire to get tattooed is first and to want to you know put tattoos on myself and then I kind of figure out okay, what should I get? What does this person, you know, like to tattoo? Sure. And what's something that's going to work in the space. And then if I, okay, I'm getting a wolf or whatever, let me look up like what that could potentially mean. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not, you know, you're not getting something that you didn't intend on getting, or maybe like, um, kind of luckily sometimes the meaning of the piece that you would find online is like, Oh, that relates to what I'm going through right now or whatever. So, but, uh, yeah, I think people get tattooed because they want tattoos, not because their life has meaning. Sure. Sure. I always say I have a I have a mom tattoo and she doesn't have a Matt tattoo and that's what 
Is that it, okay? It's yeah. I mean, it's okay. It's because we have a one-sided relationship. That's what it is. No, yeah, she's she just she's not gonna get a tattoo, and I'm like, yeah, of course not. So oh, man. there you go. That's funny. Well, we we reached the halfway point. Beyond this is uncharted territory. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. The, the hottest we've ever been. Yep. And I like I like that. I just put a bunch of sauce on here. I'm like, yeah. I, I was gonna say you're you're going to town on those wings. You're yeah, get, I'm you're like, getting a full meal out of this. I like it. I'm. I'm enjoying myself, ladies and gentlemen. No doubt. It's good. All right. So obviously things are going to get interesting from here. How's your headspace? Any any doubts? You ready to ready to get into it? I, famous last words for sure, but I know absolutely that I am going to finish this challenge and I'm going to do it like a champion. Nice. And that, that took famous last words, but I really do think that. I'm not sure how I'm going to, you know, what I'm going to be looking like. We might have to uh, accept some donations to the uh, the uh, ambulance fund. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Probably what, think I'm dying after this. What, what would be the breaking point? Where would you actually tap out? If, like, I, maybe, like, I can't breathe or something. Okay. That seems like if I'm just, like, yeah. <gasps> just dying. Sure. I don't think that, I've never seen that happen to anybody. Yeah, yeah, me either. But... A lot of people can handle spice pretty good. I'm like, I'm down for the pain. You know what I mean? I'm like, bring yeah. it on. I just, I need to breathe, folks. That's that, it. That, that makes one of us. <laughs> Somebody said, clip it, someone. <laughs> just hit this clip oh, on loop. Oh, we're we're taking uh, taking bets on how far you're going to get to. Oh, yes. I, I got a seven, it. maybe eight. That's generous. I love that. Yeah. I'll donate if you cry. Extra donations if you cry, too. See that? Maybe I'll give you some more crocodile All right, num here. number six, there the Seafire Gourmet. This is the one we wanted, it's right? Re Reaper Hot Sauce. Yeah, sick label, honestly. The and I think this is the, this I don't is know the if barbecue. You can see that. The light's yeah. a little messed up, but yeah. it, this just looks awesome. I feel like we, we almost have like the between two ferns layout here right now. Smells smells a little little heavy. Uh-oh. Oh, now, on, on, on the show, people that like spicy stuff usually they're like pretty good up till the five spot and then it starts to get interesting so I, this is supposed to be a barbecue though bro come on just well. i'm i'm good for the for the barbecue vibe but uh yeah we'll see i feel like this is like your normal like you're just you're eating mexican like no big deal yeah now now this is a different different story yeah we'll take a bite there we'll, we'll right. go into uh, question number six we got uh mm. j1 silvas oh question about uh about you in the band okay before joining the band had you heard of them it's a two-part question mm -hmm. so we'll start there oh uh no i had never heard of them ever mm -mm. i never heard of johnny craig never heard of band slaves nothing yeah mm -hmm. so how how did that come about how'd you even get there i'm good friends with kevin thrasher from escape the fate as you guys some of you probably know this story um and we have a project together called the takeaway that we were working on so he's like my homie, and I've been friends with him out here in L.A. He was leaving for tour. I said, cool, man, have a great time. I'll see you when you get back. He texts me. He's like, yo, do you want to go on tour to Europe? And I'm like, yeah, but what's up? He's like, okay, <laughs> this band needs a singer. What's, what's the catch? Yeah, their <laughs> singer like bailed on them at the airport. So I had like a couple days to try to learn all the songs. Fast forward to me in Manchester meeting the band. Like a couple hours maybe before the show started. Like no sound check, nothing. Just making up lyrics. And so that, that goes straight into the second part of the question. Yeah, yeah. You ready here? Uh-huh. How nervous were you on the very first tour performing songs you hadn't even heard before? I was so nervous before I before I left. This is where Sean says, careful around the eyes. <laughs> careful um, around the eyes. Use, use the palms. Yeah. Use the wrist. I was I was so nervous before I left. I'm such a nerd too, but I, I kept telling my mom, I'm like, I feel like Harry, like when he's going into the Chamber of Secrets, like I'm probably marching to my death right now. Because I just knew. I told these guys I'd never met. I didn't know what they were going to be like. And I, and I, and I told them, I'm like, yeah, I like, I can, I could do it, I guess, you know? And like, I didn't know if I could do it really. And I hadn't memorized a damn single song, not one song that I had memorized. And um, I just didn't know, that, like, if they were going to be like, what, what the hell, man? You say you could do this. But right, right. luckily they were super cool. And, they were just like, nah, dude, we're just like happy to have you here. Thank you so much, whatever. So uh, it was chill. They, they like put, put, kind of put me at ease. But yeah, it, it wasn't until I... Don't touch your glasses. Huh. <laughs> it, it, uh, it wasn't until I was on stage that I was like, oh, 
I could do this. Like this yeah, is, yeah. it's that kind of reflex kicks in. I've done so many shows and so much performing and high stakes performing, mind you, on TV and whatever huge shows. And um, as soon as I got on stage, I'm like, oh, I don't care. They can throw bottles at me. They can yell <laughs> shit at me. Like, cause it's that's not you're like you're you're showing up. The people that love this band, you don't even know the band. You're the wrong front man. Sure. But um, it it was as soon as I was on stage, I just felt comfortable. I'm like this is this is my home base. Nice. And it was great. And the band the band made me feel super comfortable, and that's what enabled me to do it. So and pretty nervous beforehand, but then you got on stage. Like and the most like, nervous I've ever been. Ever. To like. More so than the voice, more yeah. so. Yeah, it was, it, it, it was worse because I was like, at least the voice, like, maybe I'm going to let myself down. But this was like, yeah, I told these poor guys I could do this. I'm like, sure. I don't have one song memorized. I've been listening to the songs, like, nonstop. But did you mess up a lot? Yeah, yeah I was yeah. just making up lyrics. <laughs> but some people at every stop always thought that I was the old lead singer. Um, so I did an okay job. And from, from that very first show, people were like, Man, I'm like a huge, I'm a huge fan of Johnny, but like you really crushed it, and they nice. were like kind of like emotional about it, and you could tell they were they were really hyped. So that was great, and then yeah, just, that's a crazy beginning. Yeah, it's I, wild. I can't imagine that. And we got the new uh, working on the new music, guys. Just so you know, a new music, new brand, new name, everything. So we're really excited about that. Any rough, rough uh, deadline or estimate when the uh, new music might be out? I keep when saying can we expect something. I keep saying soon in music time. Okay. Which is like uh, <laughs> less than, probably less than six months away. Yeah. Cool. We're, we're psyched, man. We're oh, yeah, psyched. dude. Thanks, brother. That was great flavor. Yeah. But the mouth is going. Yeah, yeah. No, totally. It's saying, what What did you just put inside of me? I'm feeling good, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm like excited. I'm like, that's excited. awesome. I would I would come back to that. Me too. Like, I would, I would yeah. I would, I would put that, that on a tri-tip sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wings. I, I'd be good for it. Yep. But just gauging off of the jump from five to six, uh-huh. I feel like this is, we're doing like earthquakes here, man. Yeah. I think uh, it's about to get interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Ready to dig into the next? Yeah. Let's freaking do it, man. <laughs> freaking do it, man. All right. I'm running out of milk. Look the, out. <laughs> the labels just get, get crazier, man. Woo-wee. We got Thor's Hammer. All right. By uh, Volcanic Peppers. It's got a sick little uh, Thor design. Damn. Yeah, and we're we're both anticipating this is gonna be the hottest stuff we've ever eaten, right? That's seems to be the idea. I'm like, say, say you're out to eat like Indian food, or yeah. Thai food. Thai food is a good one, yeah. If they're like, you know, do you want spice? I'm like, yeah, sure, that's fine. I'm not like a no spice at all. Yeah. But I'm never like loaded up, man. Mm-hmm. This is uh, this is, let's dig in. Yeah. Let's see what we got going here. I should probably stop smelling them. I think it makes it worse. <laughs> yeah, it's I, like it's like diving into a cold pool. I haven't been smelling them. I've just been eating them. That, oh man! Hope if you're watching, um, if you could bring up some more almond milk at your earliest convenience, that would be sick. Nice. Be sick. Okay, I just poured a lot. You guys, I'm I'm. I don't know if you can see the amount that I'm pouring on here, but I'm like hardcore. Not here. nothing but respect. Here we go. All right. Oh, it's all keep, right. It's heating up. We have a uh, Kyasaurus Rex coming in here with question uh, number seven for us. Okay. What is the dumbest way you have injured yourself? Dumbest way I've injured myself. Um, well, this is kind of stupid. Before um, before a show out here, <clears throat> this is like right after the voice. I uh, we did sound check and I decided to bomb a hill on my friend's skateboard that he just got. And um, the trucks were really loose, and I just bombed this hill, and I got speed wobbles pretty... Thank you, Hope, so much. Got speed wobbles pretty instantly, and flipped over the board, laid on my shoulder. Totally wrecked my shoulder. It was out of its socket. Um, broke my humerus. Like, everything that could have went wrong, went wrong with my shoulder, basically. Needed shoulder uh, sur- surgery eventually, but before that happened, I had a shoulder hanging out of the socket in a hospital gown. And I played the show still. My sister was holding my arm up on stage. This one's hot. That, For real. that one creeps up on you. Woo! At first, I'm like, is that less? And now it's just, it just kind of growing. Oh, man. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyways, don't break your shoulder, dislocate it, whatever. But the show, the show went on. 
Yeah, I was sitting there in a hospital gown. You can watch it on YouTube, I think. And uh, it's like really like singing into them songs, you know? I was in a lot of pain. They just gave me <laughs> Tylenol at urgent care. I was in a lot of pain. The little extra oomph behind the, uh, behind the lyrics. Huh? Man, I don't want to start going easier on the sauce, but I put a lot of that one, and I'm making it hard on myself. I don't, somebody said they donate if you can see tears. I don't know if you can see tears, but they're coming down. My oh, oh, they're there. That, oh. that one rolled down. Wow, this is gonna <clears throat> fuck me up, y'all. I feel like the first ones, they kind of went away. This one is just staying there. It's like I'm, I'm gonna be here for a while. Sorry about it. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready, dude. I'm All ready. right. Uh, I love it. It's getting real, y'all. It's getting real. Uh, did, did you ever go back and uh, rebomb the hill? Did you ever make it? Or no, but I, but I, but if I if I go back with an actual board that I can carve all the way down, I I should do that for sure. This next one requires a little bit of setup, so we're on the bomb, right? Yeah, we're on the yeah. bomb now. Yeah, I'll slide them, slide them down. Just so you guys know, this is the bomb evolution. Somebody cheered. Thank you for the cheer. Chronic uh, nerve. I can't see this far away. 54. Yeah. So the regular show, the bomb, is the one that messes everybody up on hot ones, as you guys probably know. And uh, this one is uh, the bomb evolution. So if you go on Hedonist, you can buy the full set like we have here. And uh, this one is uh, is all natural, unlike the original, the bomb. And um, those, it's, those are real tears. Yeah. Those are those are real tears coming down. I'm not I'm not that good of an actor. And, um, <laughs> It's, it's not made with pepper extract. It's made with like a whole pepper. So it's it's supposed to be just as spicy, but it's actually supposed to taste good. Okay. And it's supposed to be balanced out with some other like little tasty hints of this and that. So it's like edible. Because a normal de bomb just tastes like gasoline apparently. Yeah, it's so, just pure gas. And, and it ruins your taste buds that people can't taste this and this, which are way hot. This one's supposed to like 2 million Scoville or something. So... We're gonna see though. I, you know, I, I, I thought about ordering the regular, just regular da bomb off Amazon, but I, I'm like, eh, like I'm never gonna be. We could probably, yeah. so, so far we could use these sauces on something. You could add a drop to this or something, you know. Man, I'm a loud talker and I'm going crazy right now. The, the lips are getting red for sure. Oh, let's take a little <laughs> break. All right. So far. I've loved the flavor of yeah, every, no, of yeah, every single one. Everything's been really, uh, of really every nice. single one. I can still taste them for the for the time being. So that that's great. Ah. Getting called out for uh, for stalling. <laughs> He's like, maybe <laughs> I just, lot to say, man. Maybe if I just talk, I don't have to take another bite. <sighs> well, let's uh let's at least load it up. Yeah, let's do it. We uh. <sighs> I'm kind of glad we moved through these pretty quick. Give ourselves some uh, some time. Dude, three more, bro. Yeah, we're we're there. We're we are freaking there. We're there. I'm excited. I'm excited. Hope I'm not maxing out the mic. Let's so, go. Do, did this used to be at the top of mm -mm. the? Of oh yeah, maybe 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 when the show started, it was at this the top. Was the number ten spot? I think so. And then they they keep like outdoing themselves. Oh man. Ooh. The bomb evolution coming in. Yeah, I'm always turning it the wrong way. It's like. The tastier version of the oh, bomb. That's oh, that's got some thick stuff at the top. We gotta shake that oh, up better. Man, oh, man. People are saying, save your milk, Matt. The don't finish your milk. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to everybody watching right now. You guys are awesome. We have uh, like 46 people in here. Super cool. Appreciate you guys. Oh man. Well, that's a thick boy. Yeah, it's got some thickness at the top. I couldn't quite get it to come off. Damn. Let's see. I'm scared it's just all gonna come out. I feel like I need something to like push it push it down. You want me to start? It just needs a uh, little push down from the top. Maybe yeah, yeah, knock it. it out. There we go. There we go, the thinker. Okay. There you go, sir. You might just have to clink some out on the plate and then give it a little dip rooney Maybe it's like the the Heinz bottle. Uh, oh oh damn. That's good. that's like for real, bro. There it is. Thanks, babe. Only in case of emergencies. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure they don't use this on the real show, so. What? <laughs> they, they, have, they have milk and water. There's some guests that refuse it. I am not one such guest. <laughs> I'll put that right, put it right here on standby. The Pope's like, I'm pretty sure they don't Make invite little babies onto the show. <laughs> You're not old enough, little baby. Here we go. 
But as you can see, you guys, that is a that is a real deal dab on there. I'm not messing around. Nice respect, man. You went in on it. All right, I'm gonna bite in. When you're ready, we are we are in number eight yeah. spot. Good God, here we go. All right, question from the uh, the ghostly ghoul, the ghostly gal. What is your favorite horror movie, and why? I don't like scary movies. I can't do them. Horror, that sounds especially bad. You know, if it's scary, if it's like a thriller, uh, I could probably do that. I'm not scared of like a serial kill. I'm a little scared. But um, I'm scared of ghosts, everybody. I'm scared of supernatural things that um, are just going to come to mess me up and I can't do anything about it. Poltergeist, go just ghosts. I hate, hate ghosts. So um, I, I did watch Pet Cemetery one time, which I understand okay. is like not supposed to be scary. But I at least watched it, and I was scared by that. So maybe I'll say that. I mean, honestly, something that I like, we're just going to say, like, um, you know, something that's not even scary, like Harry Potter. Okay. You know, and we'll just and we'll just pretend that that's horror. Then you guys will be like, <clears throat> damn, he's hardcore. So, yeah, nothing, man. I can't, I, I, I can't watch it. So then how, how about a specific horror movie that you're like, I can't watch this stuff. I, I can't do this anymore. Any so I guess this will be a least favorite horror movie. Anything with kind of ghosts, like probably couldn't do like The Sixth Sense. Probably couldn't do like The Ring. She's supposed to be some kind of like dead person. Like nah, can't. Like I could, I could probably do it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not scared of clowns. Shout out to Felipe. Very scared of clowns. <laughs> this one wasn't so bad. Not bad at all. I feel like, yeah, that like, was that was kind of like a nice little little gimme. Thor's hammer fucked me up. That one just kind of exploded. This was just well balanced. They they weren't kidding when they say they evolved it. It uh, so, kind of full in the mouth. Maybe at some point we'll have to order the, the regular the bomb that's just supposed to be horrible, and we'll see if that's. I mean, it w was <laughs> Casper. Yeah, dude. Exactly. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> I, I should have just said Casper right, right off, right off the jump. Oh my god, that's perfect. All right, dude. We got two left. I'm feeling I'm good. I'm, I'm feeling, feeling energized. I think we got this. We yeah, it's gonna be hot, but we freaking got it. At dude. this point, with two left, I don't see number nine being bad enough that I won't touch number ten. Oh, there was never a question. There was never. There, there was, was never, never a question. question. Unless I can't breathe. Oh, let's hop in here. Ah, yeah. <laughs> what, is, what does it say? Moto Loco. Yeah. Moto Loco by Pure Day Almas. Damn. says don't panic stay calm mm. what you're experiencing is just your soul leaving your body through your melting tongue and tears of regret damn <laughs> i'm ready for Who it writes that? good uh. god <coughs> <coughs> that last one gave me covid <laughs> covid in a bottle here we go here we go all right. This, mm -hmm. this one, I think, has a, quite a bit of vinegar to it. It's got kind of a, a little mix mix up here. Mm. Shout, shout out to all the labels, though, man. Yeah. These, these guys are killing it on the hard work. I sick stuff. You can take a look at that, but that's a sick little monkey and some uh, skull and crossbones. I need some ice cream after this. Got a little bit of ice cream from Jenny's. <laughs> shout out to Jenny's. That's the, uh, that's the carrot in front of the horse here, yeah? Oh, yeah. All right. Go. It's a healthy bit. Thank you, sir. <laughs> getting some, getting some belching going on. That's a, that's a good sign. I'm waiting for the, uh, for the hiccups to come in. I'm, I'm going on for real with these. You, you've <clears> not <throat> held back. No. You've loaded like, each one up. I might not do this again. You know what I mean? So we just got to do it right. <laughs> All right, here I go. Number nine, we got a uh, question here from Vices3. What time were you born? I was born sometime in the morning on a Thursday, September 6th, 1990. I don't remember much. I must have been, must have been blacked out. <laughs> must have been coming off a bender. That's it. Wild times. Wild times. You dude. know it was a Thursday, though? Yeah. It, no? and, and I know it was a morning. It might have been like 5 or 6 in the morning or something. Hmm. I always have to look this up if uh, I'm trying to find something out about some 
some star sign business. Yeah. I don't know. Right, right, because the, the time matters, right? Mm -hmm. with, your, uh, with your sign. What'd you think of that one? Good. I don't mind it. It's starting to get like a little after flavor that's uh -huh. like, uh-oh. Like a, like a kind of like a gross kind of after flavor. Like a little like a rotten. But like, I think I can tell my tongue's just getting numb to it now. Yeah. Because I touched the tiny bit on the corner of my mouth. Yeah. And that is burning. Yeah. And I just did it on purpose. Because when you said that, I'm like, hmm, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But uh, not bad. Last one, dude. You fucking ready for this? I'm, I think so. All right. Why, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Richard said really needed to know that. All right. Here we go, y'all. <laughs> uh, all right. Hot ones. This is the last dab. It's got three X's on it. I'm not really sure what that means, but uh, hot ones, very own last dab. Shout out to Vin what's Diesel. The, uh, what's the tradition they always do with the, uh, with the last dab? They do a dab on there, which we've been doing on every wing, because ours aren't coated, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to do a big, healthy dab for you guys. I know you love to see it, and, uh, you know, we're going to we're gonna do it right. All right. Well, my mom confirmed it was 6 a.m., in case you guys were wondering. 6 a.m.? Wow. <clears throat> That's funny. She, she remembers it, but not you. There we go. Nice thing. Damn, you got a big boy on there. Cheers, bro. Now we got to cheers this last one. You guys of course. seeing this? I'm freaking I'm a madman. Yeah, I hope they can see there. how much uh, how much you got going there. I got like a I got like a mountain of this stuff. Now, we've definitely seen the show where the, you see that? <laughs> That's for real. Okay. That's for real. It's turning into a real jerk. No, no problems, man. Got the got the adrenaline going. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. After, whenever you're ready. I'm, I'm like, should I dip a little off? Should I spread? Let's spread this around. Here we go. I got a very special question from uh, Mad C Music. Okay. Who is your celebrity crush? <clears throat> My celebrity crush is Haley Williams from Paramore. I tried to, I tried to underplay my crush on her, just keep it casual, but. <laughs> Got a real crush on that girl. So I have a lot of just, you know, platonic respect for her. Okay. She's like probably my favorite vocalist. She's so talented. She's so great. She's a great writer, great performer. And then and then she's kind of a cute girl on top of it. And, and uh, I get a little confused. When, when did this begin? Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe uh, somewhere around... 2013 or something like that i don't know i just in recent years i've just been like i get i get even like you know get a little like embarrassed talking about it you know, my little, <laughs> like, it's like a little kindergarten crush dude ah that that was so bad that was it that's uh i mean it's still it's still punching me in the face for sure i feel like i'm i don't know maybe i'm better with hot, hot stuff than i thought i mean like it hurt. It's painful. Sure. But like, who doesn't like a little pain? You know what I'm saying? It's, I, it's manageable. It's a manageable pain. I think it's going to be like, potentially later on, we're going to have issues. <laughs> I think is really where I'm going to be, be regretting this. I feel like just the, uh, just the front of the face is just kind of hanging out in a sauna. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's starting to pick up a just, little bit. Just right here is just a sauna box. I'm starting to just like drool a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Sick. That, um, honestly, the, the Thor's hammer, Thor's hammer got me good. It was a gray stepping stone. I feel like hopefully we burn off some taste buds for this last one, but oh man. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate you. I'm looking forward to getting back on here. Just playing some games, living my life. But this was, this was fun. I honestly had a pretty good time and I can't say that I wouldn't be down to do something like this again. So Shout out to everybody who tuned in. Hope if you wouldn't mind ending the stream for us so we don't have to touch anything. 